Hey, minions. It appears Looney Tunes went off the deep end again. I'm here for damage control on the poor little kitties. I'm sorry, kitties. I hope you aren't traumatized too much from all the crazy epic violence that G-Man has Looney Tunes inflict on people. So without further ado, I present another episode of Satan's Puppet Show. Lord Yahweh told me to tell you guys to stone Daryl for picking up stick down the Sabbath. Even though my son Jesus would later have a bunch of people eat a bunch of grain in the field on the Sabbath with his disciples, the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. But Lord Yahweh told me to tell you guys. When the Pharisees yelled at me for not ritually washing my hands before a meal, I asked them why they weren't stoning disobedient children. Plus, I did not come to change the law, but I came to fulfill it. So go ahead and stone Daryl if my daddy said so. Yeah, Lord Yahweh told me to tell you guys to do that. Oh, look, minions, it's a new puppet. It's Fundy Troll Puppet. Out of context. Out of context. Stupid atheists, you're all out of context. Out of context. So after we stoned Daryl, who totally deserved it for picking up those sticks, these Levites named Cora, Dathan, and a beer ham, and 250 other Levites and Reubenites rose up against me, me, the humblest man Lord Yahweh has ever created. And those Israelites told me that I had gone too far. The whole community is holy to Lord Yahweh, not just me, and I should stop setting myself apart from them. Stupid people. So I fell down on my face again and prayed to Lord Yahweh. Lord Yahweh, help me. But Lord Yahweh told me to tell them that Lord Yahweh would show all the people who was holy in his eyes. Korah and all the 250 peoples are to take censers and burn coal and incense in them before Lord Yahweh. Stupid Levites, isn't it enough that Lord Yahweh has made you separate from the rest of the peoples so that you can do his important work? But now you want more. So I summoned Dathan and the beer ham, but they wouldn't come. They told me, Moses, you said you would bring us to the land of milk and honey where those people are already living that we don't care about. You are supposed to be the mostest, humblest person Lord Yahweh ever created, and you kept saying that you saved us from slavery in Egypt, only to be a massive jerk of a dictator out here in the desert. What did you save us from exactly? And this made me angry, and I told Lord Yahweh, I haven't done anything wrong to these stupid people. Lord Yahweh, you shouldn't accept their offerings at all. So Korah and his 250 peoples waved their burning censers at the entrance to Lord Yahweh's special tent. But omnipresent cloud Lord Yahweh told me to tell Brother Aaron to separate ourselves from these stupid people. I fell on my face and cried for the stupid people this time, though. Lord Yahweh, don't punish everyone just because a few of the people are stupid. Just punish the stupid ones. Lord Yahweh said to move away from the tents of Korah and Dathan and Abraham, or however you say his name, and the 250 elders. They're a bunch of icky sinners. So those guys were standing by their tents with their wives and children. Stupid squalling brats. Lord Yahweh will show them all. Stupid people. This is how you will know that I am Lord Yahweh's chosen prophet. The earth will open up and swallow you and your wives and your squalling little brats too. And you will fall down and down and down into the realm of the dead. And suddenly the ground opened up and swallowed those three stupid guys and their wives and their squalling brats. Just like I, the humblest man Lord Yahweh has ever made on this whole earth, said that he would. Stupid people. And then the 250 other stupid people with their stupid censors. Do you know what Lord Yahweh did to them? He burned them. 